Welcome to Lesson 14, User Interfaces, Callbacks, Separation of Model from View Control. The topics are User Interfaces, Callbacks, and Separation of Model from View Control. For User Interfaces, first we will show you some examples and then we will tackle what is the importance of user interfaces. Next is the user-centered design and UI design principles. And lastly, the usability attributes. As you can see from the example below, from the image below, uh, you can see some troublesome uh, user interfaces. From the Left, you can see the buttons in the elevator. They are not so organized. They are pretty um, uh, confusing. And well, you can see from the example. And next is a door. The door has a sign that says pool. As you can see, there are no handles. This is a. This can relate to a user interface uh, problem. We see affordance out in the, out in the real world too. A doorknob says "turn me." A handle says "pull me." We've all seen these apparently pullable door handles with a little sign that says "push," and many of us had. The embarrassing experience of trying to pull the door before we notice the sign. A, fund a fundamental of UI design is, is to choose the right tool for the job, which should normally mean respecting existing conventions and applying control elements in a way that users are already familiar. So perhaps you're, you're training like Rocky Balboa and really do, do not want to add an extraordinary or you do want to add an extraordinary number of clicks to your order but using checks check boxes the legend appears to prohibit the ordering of 120 eggs because of course that would be ridiculous but the fact that they had to say the that demonstrates that perhaps the wrong tool has been used there are cases that when you may want to cater solely to users from one geographical region with its own specific formatting conventions, but the website of an airline operating out of several international airports is probably not one of them. In this example from Canada's Fair Airlines, if you are from a country where phone numbers have more than or fewer than 10 digits, you have no choice but enter a post number. Although, since there no, there's no field for country code, country code, they won't be able to call you anyway. In this example, you can see a confusing um, choices for the ingredients. We're all perfectly used to make to marking checkboxes to add things and clicking checkboxes to say we don't want things is by no means beyond us. So on the face of it, there shouldn't be much room to mess this up. But here, home burgers attempt to explain the process. Just leave us baffled. You have to uncheck the thing. You don't want in to order not get it. Beware of the ambiguity, but also beware of attempts to avoid it. That just makes things more complex. Um, this can be fixed uh, by just, just uh, saying that your option is lettuce, onion, relish. Just remove the, the no. Next is we have a bright and even fluorescent colors, which have become a bit of trend in UIs. And they can be very effective making content sharp and stand out. But remember that text needs to be readable. In Team Wix Mint Green, 
looks a tweet, but it's not it's not so easy to read what white text in a mid green button says. Color is the only use only cause of readability fails. The trend toward low the trend towards lower contra contrast may aim to be easier on the eye, but it doesn't help have strained strain to read the text. While, font, while fine fonts and unresponsive sites can also hurt users' eyes. Check text is easy, read, easy to read, and check can be read, it can be read on different devices. And lastly, for our example, we have the Windows 8. Um, the trouble was that the Microsoft designers couldn't design a good operating system interface. It's that they designed two of them. Windows 8 had one environment for keyboard, mouse, and a second overlaid interface for touch screens. Each had a separate web browser, a separate control panel, email program, and types of programs. You couldn't, couldn't ignore either one. You shall have twice the learning, twice the end, twice the confusion, and people hated it. Microsoft ditched that approach in Windows 10. So let's see why the user interface is important. The system users often judge a system by its interface rather than its functionality. The user is always right. Don't blame the user that for what goes wrong. If, if users consistently make mistakes, some part of your interface, take it, as a, take it as a sign that your interface is wrong. Not that the users are dumb, this lesson can be very hard for a software, for, for a software designer to swallow. A poorly designed interface can cause a user to make catastrophic errors. As you can see from the image shown, a mistake of clicking follow instead of the close button can lead a catastrophic errors. This can be fixed by uh, from the image from the right that um, give enough space for clicking the close or the follow button. And for the third reason, poor user interface design is the reason why so many software systems are never used. Uh, users tend to ignore some parts of the system are very confusing and too complex for them to use. Or for the work for the worst part, they don't even use this system because it's too complicated and they they can even go back their old ways using manual um, manual uh, coding. Simple things should be simple to operate. Instructions and explanation instructions and explanations are a sign of failure of design. User centered design. The user centered design is an approach to you the UI design where the needs of the user are paramount and where the user is involved in the design process. The user the user interface design always in always involves the development of prototype interfaces. Please we start by defining the product specification based on our user research. Next develop and build product to meet specifications. Next is testing. Evaluate product based on feedback. Then we research again based on the users and their needs. Then we go back uh, defining this on what we have researched. User interfaces design principles. The UI design must be take account of the needs and experiences 
and the capabilities of the system users. The designer should be aware of people's physical and mental limitation. For example, limited or short-term memory, or being blind, or the color blinding, uh, color blindness, and should recognize that people make mistakes. UI design principles underlie interface designs, although not all principles are applicable to all designs. Here are the principles, five principles. Uh, the user familiarity that the interface should use terms and concepts which are drawn from the experience of the people who will make most of the system. Um, this means that uh, your system should be easy to understand and um, uh, its features should um, be is already uh, familiar to your users. Next is consistency. The interface should be consistent in that what wherever possible or comparable operations should be activated in the same same way. Uh, the design should be uh, consistent. Uh, should be uh, if you should have a theme. Uh, the font should be uh, should be limited to uh, two to three kinds of fonts. Next is minimal surprise. User should never be surprised by the behavior of the system. Next is recoverability. The interface should include mechanisms to allow users to, reco to recover from errors. User guidance. The interface should provide meaningful feedback when errors occur and provide context-sensitive user help facilities. User diversity. The interface should provide appropriation, appropriate interaction facilities for different types of system users. Uh, let's discuss the design principles. Uh, in user familiarity, the, the interface should be based on user-oriented terms and concepts rather than the computer concepts. For example, an office system should use concepts such as letters, uh, documents, folders, etc. rather than directories, file, file, ide file identifiers, or etc. Next is consistency. The system should display an appropriate level of consistency. Command and menus should have the same format. Command punctuation should be similar. Next is minimal design. If a command operates in a known, the user should be able to predict the operation of comparable commands. Um, um, don't try to put um, hidden uh, commands to your system, or they uh, suddenly you know it could be a problem to your system uh, later on. Next in UI design principles is rec the recoverability. The system should provide some resilience to user errors, allow the user to, to recover from errors. This might include undo facility, confirmation of destruction, destructive actions, soft deletes, etc. Uh, your system should uh, not, uh, if you're trying to give access to your users to delete a record, you should always give them an option to confirm their decisions. Quick uh, message box to tell them that they are going to and they need to should give them time to think what they're trying to do. Maybe they just, uh, just click it button because because of your design it allows to uh it makes you the save button or the delete button close to each other it have a problem and also um the soft deletes uh 
we practice um, soft deletes by um, um, hiding the records instead of totally deleting because they can be a problem if, uh, on tracking some of the records just in case. Okay, next is user guidance. Some user guidance, such as help system, online manuals, etc., should be supplied. So, um, your user design should give some hints on how to use your system. Um, especially if you have some commands that are not uh, visible to your uh, or shortcuts keyboard shortcuts you should uh, show to your users that have those commands in the system and uh, okay next is user diversity interaction facilities for different <coughs> types of, of users should be supported for example some users have seen and so larger text should be available especially if you have users uh, older uh, users seniors age users they should have a bigger text available for the feed or if you have a um a techie users or those who are uh, just in their teens or uh, that you can give them um, a much smaller text and uh, give them uh, it and the design will allow more things your in a console. User interface evaluation. Some evaluation of you of a user interface design should be carried out to assess its suitability. Uh, this is, uh, this is to check your design is not it's not so complicated it's not troublesome but full-scale evaluation is very expensive practical system mostly uh, this evaluation happens um, if if you're working on a, a large company and you have a large or uh, expensive uh, project. Ideally, an interface should be evaluated against a usability specification. However, it is rare for such specific, specific specifications be produced. Usability, usability attributes. First attribute is learnability. How long does it take a, a new user to become a productive system. So this means that uh, your system should be easy to understand and not too demanding or intimidating to use. Next is speed of operation. How well does the system respond match the user works practice? Does your system make your user much slower than in the previous uh, work, does it take them a uh, bit harder to use your system? Then it's a bit failure in this attribute. Robustness. How tolerant is the system of user error? Does your system uh, does your system uh, have plugin or commands does your system have um, a locking feature when sir entered wrong details uh, if so how uh, how tolerant is your system maybe three errors maybe or maybe not it depends on the user uh, requirements recoverability how good is the system at recovering user error? Uh, do you track your errors? Uh, do you track the user errors and figure that 
from that error, you can recover from it. Uh, do you, do your, does your system have any backup plan? Those are the things that we can consider than that. Next is adaptability. How closely is the system tied to a single model of work? So this means that um, from a single model of work, is it very um, familiar to your users? Does it, does it not uh, hinder their work, their old work? Topic, callbacks. A callback function is a function that is that is passed into another function as an argument and is expected to execute after some kind of event. The purpose of the callback function is to inform a class sync or async some work in another class is done. This is very useful when working a synchronous task. Suppose we want to perform some task, like perform some operation or display the content after clicking, clicking a button or fetching a data from internet. This is also used in event handling as we get notified when a button is clicked by a callback function. So, so Lole, um, this is my uh, callback uh, examples. Uh, so, papakita ako kayo paano gumawa ng, uh, ng callback. So, first, syempre, gamit kayo ng ID. Pwede nyo gamitin. So, pero, for this example, ang gagamit ko is Eclipse. Um, so, Okay, start na tayo. So, check from Eclipse. Uh, Siyempre, gawa muna tayong bago project. Bago project. Yeah, so, project name. So, call back. One. Ah, uh, yun na siguro mo. Next. So, nakagawa na tayo natin yung project. Ngayon, nakagawa na at um, package, atas. Baka mo na tayo atas natin. So, um, gawa tayo ng callback. Ah, uh, ayan. Tapos. Uh, And then, okay, so may callback tayo. So, bago tayo mag-piece sa ating static feed. So, may Uh, ano natin? Part. Bawa muna tayo na, um, ano kaya? Visitor. So, public. So, as a callback is um, a function that a function that is passed another function. Okay. So, Kagawa tayo ng uh, argument sa loob. So, sure. Sure. So, uh, sorry about So, suppose na gusto natin karoon na 
nag increment uh, nagpabato ng value yung ating uh, function. So, dito, gagawa tayo ng uh, sa tayo ng variable store adder So, dahil tayo ang function sa loob, lagyan natin siya ng uh, function sa loob. Public. In. So, in. In. Tapos, gagawin natin sa laman ang ating other visitor is pag add natin sila sa add. Okay. Yan. So, yan. Paano natin siya gagamitin? Try natin. Values. Uh, other dahil nahingi siya ngayon ng dalawang in pwede tayo mag set 10 sa first sa A sa so, 20 sa B try na natin kira na natin yes uh, stick natin so yan so, ba uh, niran niya, so, print niya yung sagot sa 10, 20, 30. So, nangyari, other natin, para siyang um, sariling function na nasa. So, in, balik, inawag siya date. Try pa natin sa pangalan. Example. So, Ayan. Copy na rin. Screw na rin. So. Natin. Pero gawin. Is na other. Gawin natin. Okay. Tapos. Ganun din. Sa loob. Interface. Yeah. So. Sa so, loob. Problem. Uh, in A. Pero gagawin niya. Is. Okay. Then, copy. So, dapat, mayayari na ito, 10. So, yung 10 na sa taas, dalag. See? So, okay. So, 10 plus 20 plus 30, 30 times 10 plus 1. So, find my. So, it's possible time sample. Uh, ah, okay. Um, kawa pa tayo sa pang. Sorry. Um, static dito gagawin na so pwede tayo na uh, kakaroon siya ng sarili variable tapos Tapos siya. Uh, data type niya. Ano na siya? Function. Pero siya ang function sa loob. Interface na sarili function sa loob. 
Oh, oh, menurut Tano, I think uh, gue tanya pas. Pas, no brengge. Sampai ada bang. Bang. El, nega minta tingin. Nega minta tingin. Pindu saya, no. Pas, so, di bisa ada pasnas. So, sim doon sa, ano, sa po natin kanina. Ihingi rin siya na sarili uh, return. Dahil doon siya, kaya return niya. Return natin na yung okay. Siguro gawa na sa po. Sa po. Okay. Well, mas malaki yung question. Kasi natin. Kasi na. Yan. Naroon na tayong dalawang class. Para sila na mag-re-return na. Kailang tab-tabs. di labang tax ating public statement ng lagay tayo na ah is system in sa scanner na So, ihingi siya ng value sa ating user. Okay. Okay. Mami tayo. Tayo. Uh, Perfect. So, fit natin. And... So, hihingi natin yung paranggay sa so, sataas, yung system. Check natin yung scan. Sataas. Scanner. So, after natin paranggay. Uh, score natin yung barangay. Spring. Ay. S. So, yeah. You know, value. And. So, dito. Then, kuha na natin. Store na natin. As. Object. as uh, the morning yeah. then create tayo ng stir and yeah. just in case na di alabang or publication on one Ito throw siya na error. Next. Uh, Itin na natin ang ating mga class. So, dito ang tabs. Very first. Uh, Ah, uh, siguro. Katulad. Then, 
pag prune na natin siya, gawa tayo ng spang function. Dito, kakalculate na natin tax. So, dahil na natin yung barangay niya. Um, tapos, uh, uha na natin yung barangay. Ngayon, uh, alam na rin natin kung ano yung So, mas maganda gawa tayo ng uh, uh, function para mag-uha ng tax, uh, magkakalculate. Calculate so, dito, ang hihingi niya as argument is ating function. So, kita. So, ang at Nangyari, uh, kideclare tayo ng central tax. So, kahit anong barangay ka, mayroon tayo ng central tax. So, 500. Kahit anong barangay ka, naniningil ka ng 500. Tapos, ngayon, kukunin natin kung ano, pagkakaan yung tax ng uh, pili. Sir. Sure. Um, tax. Tapos, mag-organic data na sa function as uh, parameters ng function. Or arguments pa lang. Data that Then, so, kahit, uh, for, for this example, pag-add na natin sila. So, total income Then, okay. and add na natin sila. Pag add, uh, fit na siya. Ay, ka natin sa akin. Add na siya. Okay. Tapos, in, So, yan. Yeah. Run tayo function para mag-target tax. Dito, pwede mga kayo na sa data sa ating meter sa na interface at sa ating task. Kayo na bahala doon. For this example, pag-add lang natin siya. Pagkain natin siya sa ating in uh, class kahingi siya ng argument na uh, income tax. So, ilalagay natin ito. Okay na natin. So, so ayan. Enter barangay ni so, yun yung barangay na yun. Lagay natin sa alabang. Enter natin. Alabang. So, uh, um, dapat pala at class is nasa labas na public is na callback. So, is lang na. Uh, ngayon, tayo na. Then, 
era en el chat. Ah, no, 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 error uh, task not found exception okay. pero ngayon uh, for example for this example ito lang natin so ang muna para sa ating callback uh, examples So next topic natin is uh, the separation of model from control. So before uh bago mag demo uh, separation of model from let me muna natin uh, model controller the MVC. The MVC is a sign pattern to of User interface, which is the view, data, which is the model, and the application logic, which is the controller. Uh, this pattern helps to achieve separation of the same. So, may problema sa view. Sa view ko lang gano. Problema ka sa model, so, or sa data, sa model ka lang. Model lang gagalawin. Kung meron problema sa, uh, sa logic, so, controller lang gagalaw. So, um, common to pag ang isang project is uh, multiple um, uh, uh, So, example, uh, yung isa is uh, sa UI. So, gagalawin niya lang talaga is uh, ang design mo, ang gagalawin niya lang is yung view. So, gagawa lang siya ng HTML down or example, uh, interface ng project and then um pag yare ano ka lang um or ang coding ka lang sa model ka lang or sa controller pwede rin kay ba na rin tawag gumagawa sa model pwede rin rin gumagawa sa controller so this case naman sa ating uh discuss ang um, eh wala yung mad ang madalas is yung model at saka yung is the uh, uh the deep structure so yeah in the mvc design pattern the model is the deep layer which defines business logic system and also represents the state of application model object objects retrieve store store the state of the model in through this layer we apply rules to data which uh, eventually represents the concept or application manage. So, deep. Uh, ito yung uh, detector na uh, variables uh, set as ano uh, uh, any requirements uh, uh, sa In the view layer, this layer of the MVC design patterns represents the output for the user interface. It displays the data which from by the controller 
and presents the data to serve and ever ask for it. It receives all the information from public and it doesn't interact with this layer directly. So, this is a big layer. Ito yung nakikita ng mga users. For example, sa Lazada, ay sa Lazada, sa shop, cart, items, yun yung nakikita nila. So, yun yung layer. The controller is like an interface with the model. Receives the user request from the layer and processes them. Necessary values. Requests are then sent model for processing. As they are processed, the data is again sent and then displayed to you. So, controller is a uh, chain uh, like a handle functions. For example, uh, uh, click sa, sa item. So, gusto mo, gusto mo yung malaman kung ano meron sa item. So, si view, sasabi ko lang, sasabi ko model na kailangan. Ah, bali, si view, sasabi ko oh, ito lang, kaprocess niya. Nagawa ka ng functions sa controller, pero request sa model. Then, model ang babatay sa controller. And then, ang model naman ang babatay sa view. Ano, ah, ping, yeah. For example, ah, kaano ba ito? Ilan ba yung stock? Ah, ano yung picture niya? Ah, yun yung ginagawa ng controller. So, para siyang, ah, ah, nasa gitna. So, welcome ulit sa aking uh, uh, presentation sa lesson 14. So, uh, uh, ngayon naman, i-discuss ko yung separation of uh, model to the view control. So, so ngayon, uh, for this example, gagawa ko, gawa man tayo bago ang uh, project. So, So, um, ting natin, uh, style na, pero pa, so, kwenta na natin, style. Um, Uh, so what uh, you know I just know how to turn that on now yes. uh, new package but no plus one yes so Ito tayo ng object store. So, ito yung magiging model natin. Detector lang tayo ng class store kailangan natin. So, public class store. So, wow. Uh, all right, but so, so door, so door, so, yes, but, 
ไปเบ And then, ชื่อรู้อะไรนะตัวชื่อเเอลาพลังงานเต็มกิดเอเดอร์สเอ็นจีสุดยอดเลยสวยเนี่ยจูเป็นจูเป็นจูเป็นจูอัมวัตไทยน่าอัมเพลิงเทิร์นสตรีมทับตัวสตรีมเราอยากจะดูเอ่อสิ่งนั้นเป็นเรื่องจะนับพอสมควรสิ่งบางอย่Burn function. ต่อไปเราเลยไปนะปฏิอ่าปาริสไปละสมารังสเปอร์นาเพนชั่นโมเดลปากีวันเองอ่าอยู่ไหนปาริสอ
Tapos ngayon, lagay na sa ating package na hot. So, ayaw. Or, ayun. Uh, siguro gawa mo nga ito. So, pang pang. And then, gagawa tayo na. Sa so, UI natin, may pag sa atin. So, 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 function oh, Ba tayo na? So. Tayo. Sa Uh, ali ibibig natin siya. Pero muna tayo na uh, para sa then while then not done uh, masa lagi Tulog siya. Hihingi tayo na just sa ating sir. Hihingi natin kung anong or asal Scan Tayo. Tayo. Uh, show na. So. 
Let's just switch. All right, All right, perfect. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, let's go. Sorry about this. This is a purpose then. Then once na uh, pahingi na natin. Uh, declare na tayo. Or, so, uh, so. So, paano natin yung so, uh, array na up paano um, array list na ating third. So, speak sa ating tayo magagawa na task para mag ang um, array list, function ng array list first. Door manager. So door so, so door manager. Um, so under this yun ang model, tayo gagawin struct I got one on controller. So, um, and view control on the match. Uh, so, more evil in at it. So, and the long for manager. Um, we're not in it. Commit nothing for say collection. Shall I say? Uh, terrible. First, so add uh, start. So, so, so. Here's not an array. So, uh, uh, yeah. Ah, oops. What I know. I'm seeing it. So, I'm going to check. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
campus sa type grade is na tapos sa ano type grade manager para sa app. Balik tayo sa Nortex UI. Yan. So, dito sa ating case 1. So, names. Uh, uh, kailangan natin add. Okay. So, manager so private then the manager tayo um kailangan stop Bagi nak Starting to start. Um, just a bit. Yeah, that is just a bit. And add that in. Okay. Uh, Starting to Case two. Um, system up the file. I can say yes, sir. Oh, I know. Um, and the papaita that is a system up the file. Course. Element acting manager. So for turn on store. Kalau kita natin at at So, since mukha naman tayo ng function para ipatok okay na yan so maglulup lang siya lahat ng laman na ating manager okay. so ito is a uh, uh, history I had done para uh, and then just in case he allowed someone Yeah. 
Okay. So, we're going So, um, buwa muna tayo ng ating uh, uh, main java para run siya. So, Uh, go on manager oh. Option one. Okay, one. Add. So, let's get another one. Under. So, can I? Uh, other option. So, let's just talk about it. Can I log it? Value. Uh, So, test stuff. Some. And I. Okay. So, Enter. Uh, Um, so, uh, yeah. 
Samana. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, so system starting first. And sa ating mod, ito na, uh, and, uh, variables. Okay. Wait. And then, si Kason. Ari, ito na, is na ating first. That's the, is a, uh, main. So, yun lang sa ating, uh, sa ating lesson ngayon. So, uh, add your, 